Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is companionship. So uh, you might be making some new friends. You've got the moon there in Libra over here. So there's new acquaintances coming in. You can see handshakes. So you are, uh, you know, maybe socializing quite a bit or even making a lot of uh, new um, um friends on the work front as well so a lot of collaboration going on but you're certainly meeting a lot of new people you've got uh, mercury there in um cancer so uh, you know a lot of focus is going on um you can see this person's uh, meditating quite a bit but mercury is about the mind and the cancer cancer is about the family so you're thinking a lot about your family and maybe you're coming up with some kind of maybe there's a lot of communication between you and your family members at this particular moment because Mercury is all about communication and, you know, you're trying to find that higher purpose maybe as well with this. Uh, so you are very focused on that nurturing aspect of you. You've got um, Venus here in uh, Capricorn over here. So, you know, you can see focused a lot on the home life, focused a lot on, or maybe on your children. If you have children, focus a lot on your stability. So there's something that you're spending a lot of mental energy on involving the family, involving the home. Cancer in, you know, uh, in itself, um, you know, rules the home, rules the house. And since you've got Venus here in Cancer, there might be some issues going on with the family home or with uh, a house uh, that you're dealing with. So there are some kind of issues going on with the family home, with the family house. Uh, it, you know, you've got a 10. Tens are usually about ending. So there might be a situation where you're ending, um, you know, uh, maybe living in that particular family home or you're moving home or you're even maybe you're going to be buying a new home as well. It's about your stability that's coming into question right now. And, you know, it's to do also with your family. You're thinking a lot about your family, making plans. There's a lot of communication, uh, you know, going on within that family situation. So in the past, you've got a birth card over here. So there might have been a new baby that has come in recently over here. You've got Venus here in Cancer, and you can see the birth of a new child over here. So you may have started something new with regards to the family home or fam you know your your family situation, but this could also be the beginning of a, uh, a birth. Um, it could be uh, that you have had a child that's come into the family. So you could have had a child or, uh, you know, somebody around you has had a child and it's been a significant birth within that family. You've got a bluff card over here. So this is saying that, you know, something is going on, uh, has been going on in that situation or maybe in that family situation where, you know, a lot of things have not been revealed and a decision you'd, you've needed to make some kind of decision over here. You've got Jupiter over here, which is the plan of expansion, which is, uh, you know, it's in Gemini here. So you, you might be, you know, and Gemini is about communication, about travel. So you might be doing a lot of travel, local travel uh, with this uh, Gemini card. Um, but it's also trying to expand your communication, your horizons as well with this Jupiter. And, uh, you know, the communication, uh, Gemini is about communication. Jupiter is about expanding that. So you might be doing a lot of, uh, you know, local, doing a lot of traveling locally. Um, and, uh, you know, there's also some kind of decision that you've had to make recently. Now, going to the future, you've got this idealism card over here, uh, and uh, this is the sun in Aquarius, and this is about brand new ideas coming in for you, and a lot of focus on these new ideas as well. So you've got the sun and moon in, um, in um, you've got the moon in uh, Libra here, but you've also got the sun here in Aquarius. These are both air signs, and this is your, uh, you know, your sign, you, you know, um, this is... Um, uh, Libra belongs to the air uh, class, so uh, you are spending a lot of time uh, coming up with some brand new ideas, or you will be spending a lot of time coming up with some brand new ideas uh, on how to make things happen, how to move forward into the future here. Getting a lot of divine inspiration as well. So some kind of things, you know, almost like bolting bolts from the blue, you know, as they say. So some kind of new, uh, brand new ideas coming in for you that allows you to move forward and gives you some new insights into things. Then you've got the assertion card over here. So uh, there is a need for you to display your authority. So you've got the sun here in... Um, um, Aries, and this is about taking back your personal control and your personal power. So whatever new ideas that you have, you need to actually um, bring it out. You have to display it. You have to tell people about it. You have to exert your authority. You have to show your empowerment. Um, you know, you have to take your control back as well. And this is what the sun in Aries is saying. You need to focus on uh, showing people that, you know, you can do whatever you, um, 
you say you can do and you know you are quite brilliant in your ideas and um you know you mean what you say and this is about taking you know being disempowered but taking your power back over here so sorting out big problems and with this you can see this man's uh, you know going after this dragon he's going to slay this dragon so you are going to be able to sort whatever problems you are and you're going to be inspired to do that so some kind of big idea coming in how to actually uh, find the solution to problems and you know this might be even um, when you're dealing with a lot of people uh, they are going to give you those ideas or that support that you need in order for you to conquer these big problems that you are facing right now so you are facing some family issues and you are going to be um you know able to take your power back and sort out uh whatever issues that you are dealing with uh, you are going to be inspired to do this so some really good idea is going to come a really good solution is going to come your way um in order for you to sort out your problems so i'm going to use the game of thrones tarot and i have done a deck review on this particular deck so I will we'll link it at the end of the video. So you can uh, have a look at the video um, after you watched uh, the reading. Okay, so let's see. You've got the Ace of Spears over here. So some brand new venture, some brand new idea, some brand new energy coming into you to deal with. You've got a snake here. So you've been dealing with some very toxic people, toxic situations. And it looks like, you know, there's been a lot of drama. You can see there's a lot of fire in this card. Um, it is uh, from the fire sign. Maybe you've been dealing with a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, but there's been a lot of drama. There's been a lot of, it's been a very toxic situation. But you're now taking control of that particular situation so you're getting your energy back you're getting empowered again you've got the nine of spheres so you've been doing a lot of battle you can see there's a lot of fighting going on over here and you're very exhausted usually you know the the nine of spears or the nine of rods is like that final battle one last battle and going on reserve strength as well in order to sort it out but victory is at hand so you will be able to sort this out but you know you are very very tired after working very hard it might be a situation that you're dealing with at work because it is crossing this the three of coins is crossing it so you've been working very very hard but you've also been dealing with a lot of problems as well uh, you know you have to sort out a lot of problems sort a lot of people sort out a lot of burdens and you know you've been working very very hard maybe communicating with a lot of people as well um and trying to you know maybe this is just the last phase of that particular project and it's been very very difficult and you've got that five of spheres so you've been facing a lot of competition you know people have been giving you you know it seems like you know everybody's against whatever you want to say nobody's listening to anybody in that particular project that you're doing or whatever you're doing there seems to be a lot of arguing uh, a lot of battle, a lot of competition. Nobody seems to be taking any advice and everybody seems to be giving their advice. There's a lot of disharmony that you've been dealing with in this past year. And maybe this is the reason why you're so exhausted because you had to fight all these people off, you know, having to defend yourself all the time. So this has been giving you a lot of, uh, you know, this must be really tiring. It must be a very difficult situation to be in. You've got the Eight of Swords over here. So you're feeling very, very trapped, very, very isolated. And as though, you know, that everybody's got so much to say and you can't seem to make a move. So you're feeling very, very stuck as well in that particular situation. So whatever this is um, that you're dealing with, this Five of Spears or the Five of Rods, um, you know, you seem very, very stuck in that situation. You can't seem to get yourself out of it. Now, what's on your mind there? You've got the devil and you feel very, very chained. Now, the devil deals uh, with Saturn and Saturn is all about work. So whatever this job is, you it, you know, it feels very toxic as though you've been manipulated, uh, being controlled. You're not, uh, you're working long hours um, and, you know, um, you know, you're working very hard. There's a lot of drama. You can see all the drama that's going on with this five of spheres as well. So this could be, this could well be, uh, you know, a work situation because it seems like you know, you've got that three of coins over here. It might be something uh, of a work situation. This could also even be a family situation. But whatever it is, this is a very, very controlling, very, very toxic energy. You could well be dealing Dealing with a uh, Capricorn person as well and this is on your mind they're very controlling and you know causing all that drama as well and uh, they could be very vindictive as well uh, you know um, they might be um, 
putting one person against the other. So they might be stirring up trouble as well. So whatever situation you're dealing with, with this person, it looks like there's a breakthrough that's coming in. You've got that snake over there. So you are going to be able to sort this person out. It could well be a, uh, a Capricorn person because below this Ace of Swords, you've got this Queen of Coins over here. And since you've got the Devil over here, it's almost... Uh, showing that, you know, the Queen of Coins is an Earth sign person. It could be Capricorn, um, um, Taurus, or Virgo. But with this Devil as well on your mind, this could well be a Capricorn, because Devil is the card ruled by Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn energy that is manipulating, but it looks like you're going to get victory over that situation. So it looks like, you know, whatever drama they've been causing, you're going to be able to sort it out. Maybe they've been presenting all these burdens, and maybe it's because of them that you're feeling so trapped. And you're, you know, there's a lot of problems that are going on. So going into the future, you've got the Knight of Swords of here. So there's some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with. Uh, you're waiting for that to come in. So this particular legal news will come in. So a uh, legal decision being made. Um, you've got the Five of Coins of here. So right now you're feeling, uh, you know, very disempowered. With the Five of Coins, it's about feeling a, a sense of lack, not having enough independence, or not being able to support yourself enough to get out of that situation and needing financial support or financial help. So you're feeling very lonely, left out in the cold, isolated, but also not having enough money in order for you to find that independence and have that power in order to get out of the situation. And maybe this is why you're allowing yourself to be manipulated and controlled and this is, you know, you're allowing this to happen because you don't have a choice right now. You know, you're feeling trapped because of that lack of money. These cards seem to be sitting next to each other. So that eight of coins, the eight of swords is feeling trapped in a situation because you are, you have no financial um, means of getting out of a situation. Now you've got the nine of coins, so money is going to be coming in for you. This nine of coins, financial independence looks it like it's going to be coming from outside in. So there might be some kind of uh, assistance that comes in for you, uh, or maybe some kind of payoff. Maybe this knight of swords brings in a decision because these cards are sitting next to each other. The knight of swords uh, brings in news that you will get a payoff which will make you financially independent. So it looks like this news that is going to be coming that the Knight of Swords brings in that legal news, what legal decision is made brings you money and it makes you financially independent. On your hopes and fears, you know, it looks like you've been through a, a heartbreak situation. Um, there's been a lack of communication with whomever you've been dealing with and you're very upset about it and you're trying to deal with that kind of situation as well. So going to the future, you've got the Star, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So the Star card is having that hope that things are going to be uh, get better. So you are feeling very, very trapped. You have an idea about how to get it. It looks like you will be guided. The Star is about universal guidance, and somebody will come and bring you some kind of message, or maybe you will even get some kind of insight on how to deal with this particular situation. But the light is coming in here. So there's some kind of information that is going to come your way that's going to allow you to deal with this particular situation. You are very depressed, feeling very isolated, very lonely, and you can see, again, barriers. You feel like there's lots of obstacles around you, and you you know, the Queen of Cups is somebody that cries quite a bit. So you are very upset, very emotional right now. And maybe you are, are praying for divine guidance. With the star, it's also praying for divine guidance as well. Then you've got that Five of Swords. So whoever you have been dealing with, it's almost got everybody against you. You can see the whole crowd is against this person. You're feeling very victimized, uh, very you can see again, very isolated, and you might be dealing with a legal situation that has isolated you as well. So there is some kind of legal decision that is pending. But with these two cards, this Knight of Swords and this Nine of Coins, it looks like that decision is going to go in your favor, and it looks like there will be some kind of financial payment or financial settlement that comes in that allows you, um, you know, uh, financial independence. So I'm going to just draw some cards from this Animal Tarot. And that is for uh, the Oracle read. And the first card is the Ragdoll Cat, which says your success has been has brought you financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for business or self-employment 
uh, opportunity that will be successful. Now, the sign nine of autumn is the same as the nine of coins. So with these two cards, it shows that you are going to get some money and it looks like there's financial independence coming your way and success in whatever you're doing. So with both of them appearing, one in the main spread and one in the Oracle read, it looks like that financial success is assured and it's going to give you uh, that independence. You're going to be able to afford the things that you want and be comfortable as well as this ragdoll cat is. You've got the balance card of here by uh, merging varying viewpoints. You can generate an extraordinary new idea, compromise with others, and collaborate to discover a better solution. Now, like I told you in the energy um, read, uh, you know, this is the temperance card, and this is talking about bringing in other people's points of view as well as your own and coming up with this. Uh, excellent solution. So you may need to collaborate with your friends or speak to people around you, get some ideas and then uh, come up with a solution to your problem. And that is how you're going to able, be able to sort this out. And once you do that, you've got the Eight of Spring over here, which is like the Eight of Rods, which says you have been presented with many wonderful new opportunities all at once. While they might, these might be very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings heaven sends you. So once you make a decision, it looks like once you get that uh, brilliant idea going or you get that solution, things will start moving. Um, it looks like you might even do some travel as well, but you will be able to move away from that situation. So whatever comes in, you need to actually collaborate, get some advice from people around you, from your friends, and come up with a solution. And once you come up with a solution, you will be able to move out of this uh, situation. You see there's a new moon over here, so things will look up. And also looks like there looks like there will be new work and a lot of new job opportunities coming in with this um, Eight of Spring. There's also some good news. Eight of Spring generally brings good news, and it means that you're going to be very, very busy soon, and you won't have time to sit and be depressed about anything. You'll be quite busy. Like I said, there might be some travel as well coming in for you. So whatever this toxic situation is that you're dealing with, it looks like you do need to speak to your friends or people that support you, get some ideas, and move away from it and then you will have that breakthrough and you'll know how to deal with this particular situation and once you do that things start moving and you will get your financial independence it looks like there's some kind of payment some kind of settlement that comes in as far as money goes and you will be able to sort out um you know that that five of coins that feeling of lack uh, will be sorted out because the next card is the nine of coins so you move from the five to the nine which means from a period uh, phase um the phase of not having anything to having almost everything. And this is brought about by this Knight of Swords. So it looks like there's some kind of a legal settlement that comes in for you. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.